Hello everybody, this is Taylor with FDC coming at you again on how to put mods inside your Armor 3 main folder to use on a server. Okay, first things first, you want to go to Steam. You want to click on Armor 3, right click on it, go down to Properties, go to Local Files, and then click on Browse Local Files, and that will bring up your Armor 3 location for all you, where you put all your mods and everything. Now, we want to go to the internet. I will put a link of our server information on here and all the mods and everything else we use. Well, best way to get, you know, Exile is, you know, through A3 Launcher, same for, you know, Australian Seed Train. I mean, Cup Train, sorry. Now we're going to go to, you know, since we use, you know, the full screen night vision and everything like that. I am going to click on here, open that in a new tab, and this one too, the CBA one, because it's required to run, you know, full screen night, night vision. Then I'm going to click on them, you know, and then download them. These files only take, you know, just depending on your internet. Mine's pretty fast, so it takes less than a minute. And then, you know, go to where your download f folders are, and then click on them copy you know this folder right here then we go to your armor 3 armor 3 folder and then you right click and paste because I already got them in I'm not going to worry about reinstalling them now after you do that one folder you go to where the folder is located open it the server key you want to click on it copy it then go back to your main Armor 3 folder, go down to where your keys are located, and then, you know, paste it in. Now, without these keys in here, the server will not recognize you have the at, the you know, the add-on. All right, now we go back to Downloads folder. I'm clicking on the wrong one. Then we open up the, you know, community-based add-on. And we do the same thing. Copy this, paste it into here. Now, once that's there, you pretty much do the same thing. Go in there, copy the key, and then put it into the keys folder. Wrong folder. Into your keys folder, and then that's it. Then you launch, you know, your Armor 3 launcher. Go to mods, and I'll walk you through on how to do this. Alright, sorry about pausing the video. For some reason, my Armor 3 launcher locked up, so I had to do it. You know, shut it down, restart it. Okay, so what you want to go do, you know, this... Same thing with this one. I put mine, installed mine through Steam, so it already did it, but for some reason, Steam won't, you know, put the keys where it belongs, so that's why I showed you how to download the, you know, main file. Alright, now to add in the night vision, you know, full screen night vision, click on local mod. Then you gotta go all the way to where your Armor 3 file is located. Click on, you know, the night vision, and then Without clicking on any other folder, just select folder. And then this will pop up, and then hit OK. And look, everything's there. Then, to access our server, copy the IP address. Go back to your launcher, do a direct, direct connect. I never tried that before so this is my first time actually trying it okay why that's loaded I'm gonna pause the video Alright people, well it worked but I ended up having to shut my server down 
because I got a message from somebody saying that they needed something fixed because they kept, kept getting kicked, so I ended up shutting it down. But as you can tell, it booted me right in. Our max, you know, number is well up to 20 players, but we're thinking about upgrading if we get more players. So as you can tell, the direct connect to the server actually works. All right, thanks for watching.